Hey, it's Big Kahuna. We are back at Pike Run Golf Club for our Pike Run Golf Tip of the Week. Last week we talked about the approach, the short game, put it up on the green about 50 to 70 yards out. This week we want to talk about maybe a little further shot. Maybe you're in the fairway, 150, 200 yards. Maybe you're going to use a long iron. We've got uh, club pro Steve Ratcliffe with us. And Steve, uh, uh, one of the things that I think most people get concerned about once they've got it in play they get that 150, don't know what kind of club to use. Typically, when you're, I know a person's strength is going to change what they're going to use club-wise, but what are you talking about 150 club-wise? What are you talking about? Most people, it's a mid-iron, something between an 8 and a 5, right in there. It's not going to be a long iron. It's not going to be a chip shot, so a mid-iron. All right, talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. This is going to be a shot that uh, uh, people are going to hit, and what are, you, what are you concentrating on? Typically, I see a lot of people is they lack a weight transfer. And uh, in any sport, you need to transfer your weight from your right foot to your left foot, kind of throwing a ball. You wouldn't, you wouldn't keep your weight forward and fall back. Basketball, the same thing. Is you want to make sure your weight's going forward. You're not, you're not shooting fadeaway jumpers all the time. And a lot of times in golf, people are hitting the ball and are falling backwards, which reduces not only accuracy but strength and distance. All right, Steve, talk us through the shot. Again, we're talking about proper distribution of your weight. Uh, explain where you want it in the stance and uh, what your swing is going to be. Basically, you're going to play the ball in the middle of your stance or slightly forward. Uh, take your normal grip, your normal good posture. As you swing back, you want to transfer about 70% of your weight onto your right foot. This is going to load up the swing. It's kind of like any other sport. If you're going to throw the ball, your weight's going to go back, your weight's going to go through. And that's what we wanted to set up with golf. Again, ball is basically in the middle of your stance, slightly forward. You're going to swing back, get about 70% of your weight onto your right side. As you swing down, you turn. You get your belly button, your shoestrings pointed right to your target. All right, show us how it's done. That's what you want to do is get your weight transferred from your right foot to your left foot and watch the ball fly out to your intended target. Remember, get that ball in the middle of your stance or slightly towards your left foot. Normal grip? Normal grip, yep. Nice and loose in your hands. Swing back, feel about 70% of weight on your right foot. As you come down through it, point your body to your target where your ball wants to go and stay nice and balanced. Well, that's a good swing there. Nice and balanced. All right, this week's lesson again was all about weight transference from your right to your left leg when you swing through. And again, Steve, the biggest thing that people want to remember when they take a shot as far as their weight distribution needs to be? Start out equal, take 70% back to your right foot and finish up with 90% on your front foot, staring right down to your target and staying well balanced. All right, if somebody wants more information about the Pike Run Golf Course that they want to call and schedule a tee time, what's the phone number? Phone number is 419-538-7000. And if they want to go online, I know last week we found out you can actually schedule a tee time online. What's the website? Website is www.pikerandgolf.com. All right. And if somebody wants maybe some information about what we're doing right now, maybe uh, sit down and, and chat with you about possibly having some lessons, can they get a hold of you and schedule lessons with you? Absolutely. You can contact me at the golf course. I'm here most days. Uh, lessons are done by appointment. We also have a junior clinic that runs during the summer, and that information is on our website. All right. And again, the other thing we want folks to know is they want to use the clubhouse for maybe an event. Your clubhouse is available for rental as well. Yes, we do a lot of graduation parties, a lot of class reunions, 50th wedding anniversaries. We have a full service bar, kitchen, and, uh, and banquet facility. All right, that's this week's Pike Run Golf Tip of the Week. We'll be back next week.